Hello guys, uh, welcome back. Well, my ballot buy-in box has finally arrived. It took over three months, but everything got here, shipped right from Louisville, Kentucky, right to my door here in Bacong. They actually brought them up to my house, you know, up the stairs and everything, and put them on the floor here for me, as you can see them behind me back there. Um, so very happy with uh, the process, you know, it was really easy to do. Um, I recommend, you know, if you got things that you treasure back home in your home country, why just give them away for nothing if, uh, or store them forever and never see the stuff again? We can ship it over here. It's really inexpensive, about $100 a box. It cost me $1,200 to send these boxes here. Uh, three of the boxes were larger than normal because they were out of the ballot buying box, so I had to buy uh, these boxes from UPS at $15 each. They're, I believe, 24 by 24 by 24. And it's unlimited weight. As long as one person can kind of pick them up, uh, they don't weigh them or anything, which is really good. Um, sending a little box about this big, UPS from America, can take two months and cost $500. So at $100 for one of these big boxes is a hell of a deal. Um, so anyway, what uh, I'm going to do, I've had a lot of you guys say, well, what did you, what's in the boxes? What's in the boxes? So what I'll do is uh, I'm going to have Jen and Charlene open up one box at a time. We'll make one video out of each box and show you guys what's in there. I'll tell you what it is. Some of it's really cool stuff. Some of it's probably uh, just, you know, normal things that you would keep. Um, but anyway, you know, that's what we'll do. It was cost me $150 a month to store this stuff. Uh, I had it stored for almost five years. So anyway, you can do the math, find out how much money I wasted on that. And only $1,200 to send it here. So basically, you know, what I would have spent one month, one year of storing it, I could have shipped it here. But at the time, it just wasn't an option. I didn't even know about these ballot buying boxes until I'd been in the, in the Philippines for several years, actually. So anyway, I highly recommend anybody that's got stuff that they want to keep, you know, ship it, you know, here, you know, it doesn't cost that much and uh, then you have your things with you. And it's better than just storing them back in America or wherever you're from. So anyway, the girls will open up one box at a time, you know, and you can see what's in there. There's 10 boxes, so I'll make 10 videos, kind of scatter them out over the next few weeks. And that's basically it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Once again, if you want to be on the show, my email is in every single video. It's in the uh, description. Hit more. You'll see my email there. Send me an email. And if you're here in Dumaguete, and we can get together and uh, do an interview. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Enjoy the video. Bye. So the box has finally arrived from America. It took three months. And uh, Jen and Charlene are going to open up one box uh, per day, see what's inside. And uh, everybody's been asking what's in the boxes. You're going to get to see. Jen has chosen this box, the only one that looks like it got crushed a little bit. And uh, it costs $1,200 U.S. to ship these boxes from Louisville, Kentucky, right to my door here in Macomb. And so Jen and Charlene are going to open this one box right here, and we're gonna find out what's inside. Okay, we're gonna open up the first box, and Charlene's gonna do it, because Jen's pregnant, and uh, it's too hard for her. So Charlene, go ahead and start opening. I like your nails. <laughs> Color of your nails. Okay, Charlene, you're gonna open box here was a little bit more because they were out of the ballot buying box so I had to buy this from um, the UPS store and it was like $15 for that box they're expensive the other ones are all official ballot buying boxes which you have to get from a, like a Filipino grocery or something $15? yep okay what do we got there? Oh yeah, that's a book I thought you'd like. That's on fairies. Yeah, it's a uh, it's like a field guide to fairies. You want to know all the different fairies? We have a lot of fairies in America. You can identify them. 
Kind of cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, put what that. Is that? Okay, that's. Okay. I think oh. that's a, a pop up book I was telling you about. Now open it, I want to see. Yeah. Put that one down here. Yeah. No, I like the cover. Yeah. I know this home that the, there are five special places where fairies make their homes. Places wow. where they are able to live in harmony with nature. Ah, Dinotopia. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Let's do this one first. What is this? Yeah. Yeah. What is what? what? Look at, look at that. It's what like is this called? The pop-up book. Pop-up book. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Pretty cool, huh? It's like forest. You can read that book to Rogan. Yeah. I've been waiting for this for days to yeah. get here. To read me the book. Wow. wow. Oh my gosh, fantastic, baby. No, no, no. Pretty cool, huh? We don't have this kind here. They don't, don't sell know. this book here. That's why I sent it all the way to America for you. I've only seen this in movies. Hmm. Only I got one in real. Yeah. That's yours. Did you bought this, honey? Yeah. Dinosaurs. Joe Rogan will like that. <laughs> Joe Rogan. No, I mean Rogan, my baby. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Be careful, that's fragile stuff in there. Not fragile. So maybe there's glass here. Why don't you set it down where you can open it? Yeah, sit down and open it. I don't even know what's in there. That's from England. Yeah. So For the fairies. things in there we can look at that later. All the other boxes you're gonna have to open those up one at a time. Scar Sc Scarlet made that. When she was a little girl she made that. Yeah, kettle, teapot. Aww. Let's take it and set it on the table over there so it doesn't get broke. Charlene, I need you to come over. We're going to have the uh, teacup. Tea, tea party. Tea party, yeah. Tea party. Mm. Yeah. Go set them over there on the table, Jim, so they don't get broken. Three. Ten. Let her set it on the table. Keep going, there's more stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Careful, careful. Did she also uh, made this? Yeah. Summer made that. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, Scarlet made it. <laughs> Scarlet made it. Yeah. 
They set it on the table, pull it. So. They teach that in schools, ultimately. You sure there's nothing else in there? No more, no. You sure? Positive, 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 positive. Okay. It doesn't matter. In a place no, like home. home. I'm not sure if Scarlett made that or Summer. I'm not sure. Did it say in the back? It's no. One of them made it. What is these? Oh. That's a lamp I bought in Greece. That's how thousands of years ago they used to heat their houses. Not heat their houses, but for light. You put, uh, you put uh, olive oil in there and a little bit of wick and you light it. It's like a lamp, an ancient lamp from like Aladdin, like a magic lamp. I'm going to try this later. Yeah. You don't need candle. No, you don't need candle. I don't know. Oh, those are just coasters I bought in Greece wow. like 30 years ago. What show, is this? Put the put coaster, put the cup on. Let me show them real close. Right. They're from Greece. For cups? Yeah, put your cup on the table so you don't put a stain on the table. Wow. Coasters. So Charlie set all that on the table. Oh, that's a meteor. A meteor? Yeah, from outer... Oh, that's a... Indian made that. I found that in a river. It's like a little mini axe that a Anastasia made thousands of years ago. Ancient Indian people, Native Americans made that. I can make this as a well. yeah, I found that in the river. Yeah. Yeah. Here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Alright, anything else in there? Yep, more rocks. We love collecting rocks. Oh, yeah. And that's a really good dream book. Black Decker B, have a seat, please, and help me open the box. Mm. Let me this me. Lights. Lights. I have to open the box. <laughs> yeah, but you have to open. You can also open some. Of it. I'll open it. <laughs> No, it's not. It's just a box. Where's the blender? I don't know. It's, you can't, it wouldn't work here anyway, right? Be careful with that. Be careful. Be careful with... Wow! Be careful. Use a knife to open it up. Don't. You're going to break it. Use the knife. Can I put a uh, sand inside the soil? No, 
just no, it's a, for decoration. Yeah, for decoration. Yeah, it's a vase. I bought oh, that. I can put this yeah. in our shelves. That's handmade. I bought that somewhere in South America a long time ago. Very rare. Very careful with that. Very rare vase. Mm, yeah. Like a Here, show it up close. All handmade. Handmade? Of course, yeah. Perfect shape. Yeah. Okay, let's put it on the table. Is the box already like this, honey, or did you find and did you look for another box? And I just used whatever boxes I had around. You did a lot of work, huh? I did. I bought that uh, oh my God. in Germany. This is so nice. Oh, oh my God. Hamburg, Germany, oh, about do a cigar, 30 years ago. You use cigar. No, it's not, a, not an ashtray. It's not an ashtray. Oh, no? For like candy or something. It's a very special. Let me show it up close. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, we can put our coins here. Yeah, it's very rare. It's gonna be mine. That's yeah, gonna be yours. Put it, just leave it out of the box and just put it on the table. Huh? Just set it on the table. The collar. Mm. Yes. Wow. No, just a, a mug from the ship. Mug. What ship is that? Does it say on there? But it's in on the sh Park. Let me see. Oh, it's Park West. That's the company I used to work for. It used to give us a coffee cup instead of money. It lasts long? Yeah. So got it. Oh, you can use this. Yeah. Just leave it out. Leave it out with this guy. Another vase. Vase? Yeah. The flowers in. Wow. Okay. Leave it out. Let's let her put it on the table. <laughs> oh. My uh, mother in law gave me that fish. I really like that fish for some reason. It's just a piece of decorative art, you know. Show it up close. So we used to go, she took me fly fishing one time in Scotland and we bought that. That was a bottle, um, I bought that in Greece and it had really nice olive oil in it. With this, and it's got a magic spell there too. Yeah, like a love potion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's empty. I know I used it all on all the girls. <laughs> Ooh. That's just a stopper for a wine bottle. You open a bottle of wine, you put that in there. To, oh. Yeah. Oh, that goes in there. Yeah, it goes in there. It's a decanter. Yeah, it's a decanter. Hold it up. Mm -hmm. Whole thing. And with it in there. Keep it in there, Jen. Huh? Hold it up so people can see it. Let her put that on the table. It's a decanter. Oh, my gosh. Put so brandy lovely. in there, or wine in there, oh, or something. Wine, brandy. Yeah. Okay, leave that in. Give it to Charlene. Put it away. Give it to Charlene to put away. Yeah. <clears throat> To open one more box. No. One per day. That's the rules. Them's the rules. Okay. Careful with those. It's like 
Careful. Scarlett made that for me when she was a little girl. It's the sun, see? The sun. Wow. I think it's cool. Glitter. We'll put that up on the wall someplace. Careful with that one, don't drop it. This is going to be on the cover of my new novel, Creepers. That was on the cover of my new novel. I think that's just a bunch of pictures, I'm not sure. Office pictures. Me and it's my father and I. Yeah, show that picture. Mm -hmm. When I was, we were on a cruise together, when I was working on the ship. Tim. Yeah, that's my dad when he um, he rode his bicycle from Florida all the way to Kansas City, like over a thousand miles. Who took photo? I don't know. He was on his trip. Bicycle with him? No, I don't like biking. Do you know how to ride a bicycle? Yeah. Have you driven a bicycle? Oh yeah. Okay. This um, is this is me in Greece a long time ago. Here. This was taken back in the nineteen eighties. When I was like younger than you, I was like twenty two. What's cool about what's cool about that picture? is that the man took it, he had the old kind of cameras that are like wooden box camera, and he, um, he developed it right next to you, and it's a slow exposure, so he would put the camera on, and you sit there on the ruins there in Greece, that's in the Parthenon, and there's all these people walking around everywhere, all these people, but you're still there, you don't move for like five minutes, and because it's a real long, slow exposure, when you develop it, the people disappear, and so, that picture, there was people all over the place, but since I didn't move, it's a picture of just me and the Parthenon, which is an impossible picture to take, unless you have a really old wooden camera and develop it in a bucket next to the thing. You know, slid around inside there a little bit, but yeah. What's the other one? That's me the first time I went to Egypt. How old are you? Uh, probably 22, 23. Back then you could climb the pyramid and go inside and You might need help. Steve might have to help her with this one. It's real heavy. It's got some heavy, a real heavy box in there. Yeah, I'm scared. Yeah. Why don't you set it on there and open it up on that chair? Michelle. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh yeah. What do you this? That's for my book, The Creepers, that I'm writing, this scary book. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Mm. And this, I mean, looks scary, honey. It's a frog. Fight <laughs> <laughs> for your baby. Yeah, see? <laughs> no. For mm. oh, my baby, no mm. way. <laughs> mm. That's me and a uh, famous artist, Peter Max. He uh, painted the portrait of every president for 40 years, and he's a very famous guy. No. Oh, did it break? No, it just fell. Oh, the wizard. What is it? Yeah. Oh, good. Still there. Good. I got close. Wizard. Show it to the camera. Yeah. Magic wizard. I 
Oh, no, it got broken, yeah. We can fix it. Yeah. I guess go sit on the table. Can you cover that? That's for sitting uh, your crystal ball on. There's a crystal ball in there. Somewhere. It's just a paperweight. Cancer, you know, for my sun sign. I need that in a minute. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> it's a crystal ball. We're looking into the future. And it goes on that. The little wooden stand is for it. Is this real? Oh, yeah, of course it's real. Oh, wow. Oh, is this going to have yeah. bulb yeah. light up? No, it doesn't light up. You. It's natural. <laughs> it's a real crystal ball from the jungles of Brazil. You really like collecting stuff, huh? Mm -hmm. There's more. Ooh. Sundial, or sand... Sand, uh, we call it sand dial. Just Charlene, that stuff you got. So if that goes on the other one you've got there in your hand, yeah. Oh. See? What's this called? Uh, I can't remember. What you, sand dial or. <laughs> oh, that's petrified wood. Millions of years old. That was a log millions of years ago, and it's petrified from the time of the dinosaurs. Hmm. Just another paperweight. Made in G. D. Britain. Mm -hmm. Great Britain. Yeah. Another rock, yeah. It's a cool rock. Oh, jewels. Amethyst, I think. Is this real? Yeah, it's real. Then wash water. Then wash this with water. Man. Yeah. Clean it. Yeah, very rare. I might have broken off something else. Wow. Yeah. What else is in there? Oh, that's just a, that's when I was in the theater, that's a lens from the Fresnel light for a theater light. I just decided to keep it, just like a big magnifying glass. Not worth anything. Yeah. Another piece of petrified wood. Isn't it beautiful? Look, show. The like this? That's the way it was, millions of years old. <laughs> another yeah, another cool rock. See, I found that one like that. I didn't do anything to it. I found it in the desert like that. We'll show the other side. Show the other side. Yeah. It's all smooth. I feel sorry for those Filipinos who carry the box. <laughs> it's a big piece of petrified wood. That's millions and millions and millions of years old. That was a log back when the dinosaurs were around and they cut it into quarters. See the bark's on it, bark is still on it. Did you, did you yeah. I bought that in Italy a long time ago. There's a Venetian glass in Venice, Italy. It's a special technique of making blown glass that they've been doing for over a thousand years, I think.
Hmm. Another big piece of petrified wood. That's the last one. Yep. That's and everything. The first box is about yep. That's box number one. And we have nine more to go. We've got to make sure that there's 